Hello, welcome to my easy statistics. This video is structure equation modeling using AMO software part 4. In this video, we will be discussing about structure equation model fit, which is a measurement of goodness of model fit. After completing of a structure in AMO software, first we need to decide about is this model identified or unidentified. In my video of structure equation model part 3, we discussed how to check whether the model is unidentified or the model is identified. If a model is unidentified, we cannot go for any analysis of estimates. The model should be identified. Once we have a model identified, like the model which I have on the screen, then we need to check where this model is fit or not fit. This is called measurement of model fit. Okay. When we are doing measurement of model fit, we need to consider three important things absolute model fit incremental model fit and parsimonious model fit we'll discuss one after another the first one is absolute model fit in structure equation model after the model is completed and after the model is identified the first thing need to be checked is chi-square value and probability value. I have taken one example. In this example, I have awareness of consumers, intention of consumers towards a product and affordability of consumers of a product. And I am doing an analysis how awareness is impacting the purchase behavior intention of the product towards the product is impacting the purchase behavior and affordability of the product is impacting the purchase behavior okay i want to see the chi square value and its probability of this model to do this i am doing calculate estimate let me go for output path diagram and let me see view text in view text i am going for node for models in this node for models i have computing degree of freedom this is what we discussed in part 3 video let me see the results in this chi square value is 101.239 where probability is 0, 0.00 so for a model probability value should be less than 0 0.05 if the probability is more than 0 0.05 the absolute fit is not valid and an important observation in the model chi square value should not be very high compared to degree of freedom generally we want a degree of freedom should be more and chi square for example in this case chi square is 101 it should not be like 1000 2000 and where degree of freedom is 1 2 this should not happen so, 101 and degree of freedom 29 is not a bad model. Right. So, this is the first thing you need to check. The probability should be less than 0 0.05. So, this is the first thing in absolute model fit. Second one is root mean square error of approximation, which we call RMSEA. Let me see the output in model fit navigation. In this, I have RMSEA here. 
So, this RMSCA, this value what I have 0 0.145 should actually be less than 0 0.08. This is absolute fit. But having 0 0.145 does not mean that the model should be rejected or the model should not be used. Because we take number of other parameters into consideration, having 0 0.145 is not a bad idea we can consider it but what is perfect fit is that rmsea should be less than 0 0.08 right the third point in absolute model fit is goodness of fit index again the model fit we go for model fit we have GFI goodness of fit index is 0 0.869 it should be 0, more than 0 0.9 for a perfect fit but having 0 0.869 the model can be considered generally what we do is if the model is not getting fitted and it is close to the value what we are predicting we do modification indices in my next videos, I'll explain how to do this modification indices. But in this case, GFI value is 0 0.869 can be considered. Okay, in absolute model fit, we have a probability value need to be checked. RMSEA, that is root mean square error approximation need to be checked. And goodness of fit index need to be considered the second model fit is incremental model fit in this incremental model fit we need to consider four things four important things that is first one is adjusted goodness of fit index we call agfi comparative fit index cfi normed fit index nfi tucker lewis index TLC right this all value should be more than 0 0.9 for incremental fit so in my case if I take AGF 5 it is not 0 point is not greater than 0 0.9 but it is uh, 0 0.752 in the same way TLI these are not greater than 0 0.9 but not very less than 0 0.9 so i'm considering it because i'm going to do my modification indices uh, later and i'm going to tune the values just i'm showing for example purpose uh, example is can and i'm showing the values so incremental model fit when you want to do goodness adjusted goodness of fit index compared to fit index normed fit index tucker lewis index need to be considered this value should be more than 0 0.9 okay this is second model fit third one is parsimonious fit parsimonious fit is minimum discrepancy that is chi square divided by degree of freedom if you take that is called minimum discrepancy this should be less than 0 uh, this uh, should be less than 5 so in our model we go for model fit and this we have chi square divided by degree of freedom it is 3.491 yes it is less than 5 so my parsimonious model fit is good so overall i can consider my model as fit because all my values which I am expecting is close to what is the values I need to have. So this is how we need to check whether uh, a model is fit or not fit to be considered or not to be considered. In this, if a model is not fit, what can be done is we need to check modification indices to understand the relationship between these variables, etc. So in my further videos, I am going to discuss about modification indices and how to make a model fit. 
okay i expect this is informative and helps you in your analysis thank you